China discovers water on Mars. We give you an affectionate welcome to this new documentary. If it is the first time, I introduce myself. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. We will learn how the Chinese mission to explore the planet Mars found traces of water on the red planet. Join me until the end of this video in a comprehensive update of the Chinese rover Zhurong's mission on Mars with important advances and its most recent discovery. From an engineer's perspective, let's start. The Chinese explorer robot rover Zhurong landed in May 2021 on a plane on the planet Mars called Utopia Planitia. Being the first Chinese rover to land on another planet as part of the Tianwen-1 mission, which was deployed by the China National Space Administration CNSA. This six-wheeled rover weighs 240 kilograms and is 1.85 meters tall. It is powered by four solar panels and a novel power generation mechanism housed in 10 containers under two circular windows on the roof, which absorbs heat and melts during the day and solidifies and releases heat at night. Additionally, this robot is equipped with six advanced scientific instruments, which are what allow it to analyze and record its findings, which already show that the area where it is located has been subject to long periods of erosion in the past by wind and perhaps even by water. During its first more than 60 days of operation, the rover traversed more than 450 meters of flat terrain littered with small rocks. At the same time, the spacecraft collected data to study the geological structure and composition of the planet's surface, including taking soil and dust samples as well as capturing images. Let's see the latest official scientific report of this exciting robotic mission on the Martian surface, and the evidence of water on Mars found by China. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, turning on notifications, so with your support, we can continue to frequently generate interesting documentaries on aerospace technology and the universe. Thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. The robot rover Zhurong has just identified a more complicated geological evolution than expected. John Bridges, a scientist at the University of Leicester in the UK. The most recent images captured by the Chinese robot rover Zhurong show evidence that the planet's surface has been shaped by the effects of wind erosion and also by long processes of chemical weathering, probably caused by water, suggests an article published on Monday, March 7, 2022 in the prestigious scientific journal Nature Geoscience. According to the researchers, during the capture of evidence, the rover traveled 450.9 meters from the place of its landing in Utopia Planitia, a vast plain in the Northern Hemisphere, a path in which it collected samples of the surface to study the geological structure of the planet. And its composition, data that was complemented with photographic evidence. The results of the analyzes indicated that the samples collected there have a similar composition to those taken by other missions in different regions of Mars. However, the photos revealed a rough texture on some of the rocks, similar to the pattern followed by fish scales, which is usually caused by prolonged contact with water, experts say. Similarly, the scholars identified a series of marks and grooves caused by wind erosion, as well as evidence of gigantic wind-sculpted waves of loose sediment, dubbed mega-ripples. Many of the rocks found around the landing site were covered with carvings and grooves on one side, indicating that they must have suffered from intense wind erosion of the sand. The rover also found several mega-waves on the Martian surface, with features showing to have been sculpted by the wind. The rocks of the Utopia Planitia plane were first seen by scientists with NASA's Viking 2 lander in 1976. At the time, they were interpreted as fragments of basaltic lava. However, the landing site rocks found by the Jurong rover obviously do not look like the basaltic lava terrain that we associate with the crust in Utopia Planitia. Basaltic lava is the most abundant lava on Earth and is the most commonly depicted lava in images and media. Basaltic lava is another term for mothic lava which is molten rock that is enriched in iron and magnesium and low in silica. When mothic lava cools on the Earth's surface, it forms basalt, a type of rock originating from fire, which is why mothic lava is commonly called basaltic lava. Since the Viking II module, the paradigm was that Mars was a large chunk of basalt with perhaps some flood channels. 
but now evidence from the Chinese rover supports a paradigm shift toward a sedimentary Mars. Soil samples taken at the site by the Jurong rover robot were found to be similar in composition to those collected by other rovers elsewhere on the Red Planet. Overall, these initial findings suggest that this site has the potential to provide more information about the history of the planet's surface. With more questions than answers, scientists now hope the rover will continue to explore Mars and gather information that will help understand whether the vast plain was once an ocean. These are some of the most recent and impressive images that the Chinese robot rover Jurong has been able to record on Mars. What do you think of this region of the planet Mars? I read it in the comments of this video. As usual, we appreciate you informing us, it is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and developments, about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe, from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.